I hung out there. Hit a man, Randy, I go. Oh, Pablo, yeah. Guys, I just deleted, accidentally deleted the video that I just made for you guys. It was 12 minutes long. It was full of awesome, awesome, awesome stuff and awesome information. There's no way in the world that I can create such beauty again, okay? I just can't. Okay, just kidding. Um, but no, I'm not kidding. I really just accidentally hit cancel um, on the YouTube thing. And I was like, I love my, my followers so much. The few that are there that I will redo this darn video. Um, I can't make any promises that it's going to be as good or as informative as the previous one would have been, but I will try my best. So here goes. First thing, people, my followers of all sorts, have been questioning me, <laughs> interrogating me, wondering, Ren, dun dun dun, are you still in Korea? Ren, dun dun dun, are you going to teach in Korea? Ren, dun dun dun. Hey, where'd you get your contacts? <laughs> so I'm gonna like answer these questions. Awesome, right? Awesome. So first, I'll start with my contacts. As you can see, they're blue, and I love them. <laughs> okay, that's a little creepy. Um, yeah, these are blue circle lenses. Um, I got them in Korea. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I got them in Korea in Hongdae. They were um, 60,000 won, $60, oh my gosh, I paid so much. Uh, I love them. I love them. They're comfortable. They, you know, um, I haven't had problems with them. I, I, okay, let me, let me tell you, I do not have bad eyesight. I do not wear glasses. I, I used to wear glasses and I used to wear glasses and contacts, but my eyesight fixed itself um, maybe like six years ago. Six, seven, maybe six, seven years ago, and so I haven't had to wear any correctional um, items. So I wear these contacts for fashion, and I love them. And actually, I get a lot of compliments on it. And you know, people aren't used to seeing a black girl, a girl of my color, with a with the blue eyes. So I get a lot of questions and a lot of fans, and I kind of like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, um, there were 60,000 won. I bought them in Hongdae. Uh, if you are in Korea and you want to find a place to buy them, the guy was super nice, and he, like, tried on all the, like, they have a little fake eyeball thing. Sorry, I have shadows behind me because I have to use the light. Um, but they had little eyeball things, two little eyeballs, and you could, like, put the contacts on them for brown eyes and see, like, how it would look on, in brown eyes. And so that's what I did. I spent, like, almost an hour in that place just do, looking at different shades on there. Uh, they have grays, they have purple, blues, different blues. Um, they have ones with, like, freaking designs in it. So awesome. Like, this is so cool. Like, I, just want, I just want everything. And I couldn't buy everything because I just don't have that kind of money. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's where I bought it. It's um, if you're in Hongdae, it's H and M is you know on that corner, yeah, that corner in Hongdae, right across from Tony Tony Moly, and um, and it's right down the street away, going away from the college, and there's just a little contact shop right there, and yeah, they're nice. There's also a contact shop um, for circle lenses that is up in Hongdae. Like if you walk on the left side of Tony Moly and straight down. Um, besides the, it's by the new piercing shop. There's a new piercing shop, and I'm, I think it's, I really think it's American owned, um, because it just didn't seem very Korean esque when I went in there. But I think it's American owned, um, piercing shop, maybe, in Hongdae? I don't know, somebody can confirm that. So, what have, am I still in Korea? No, 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 no. No, 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 sadly, I'm not. I've not been in Korea since, like, August 18, 19. Um, of course, I'm not upset about anyone not knowing that, but um, it does make me a little sad knowing that you don't pay attention to me. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Life is good. Life is good. This is my last semester as an undergrad. That's why 
Um, I'm back and that's why I didn't stay in Korea longer. But the thing that I said I was going to tell you is I applied to teach English in South Korea for February. Yes, yes I did. Oh, I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> So I'm just waiting to hear back from um, the EPIC people, which if you don't know what EPIC is, EPIC is the English program in Korea. It is um, a program through the Korean government where they place um, people to teach English. There is, um, you have to have a bachelor's degree as your minimum. Wow, my light just went off. I think, actually I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, you have to have, see, I told you I need a light, it's too dark. You have to have a minimum of a bachelor's degree to, um, what am I saying? <laughs> you have to have a minimum of a bachelor's degree to qualify, and, but they have another program called the TOEFL program. You only have to be in your second year um, of your bachelor's program to do it. And you can do that six months or a year, or you have to um, be have an associate's degree. Um, so one or the other, and you can go to Korea and not do study abroad and teach and actually make money and have a great experience because that's what life's about, you know, having great experiences and really experiencing life. Um, the reason why I'm teaching, going there, like want to go there to teach English is so that I can help others, you know, have a great life and succeed in life. And, you know, that's why I'm going it is my like passion to help others, to educate them, to um, help them grow. And that's just who I am as a person, you know. I'm always here to help others, and that's what I'm trying to do with you guys. I'm trying to help you out and, you know, hope, hopefully help you get to Korea. Um, and I'm trying to do a nonprofit organization, but I don't know how that will work with um, certain things. But, yeah, I'm trying to do that to help others get to foreign lands. Um, yeah, to help fund people getting to foreign lands. So I'm I'm really excited. I'm doing some awesome things. And uh yeah. Anything else I wanted to say? I know in my other like in the first video I talked about clubs, but I can't remember like why I was talking about clubs. But um yeah, I was talking about clubs and pricing. <laughs> uh so i I guess I'll talk about clubs and pricing until my camera light guys. Uh, so, clubs, I remember going to Gangnam, like, club pricing is crazy sometimes, but Gangnam is definitely the most expensive for clubs, if you didn't know. Um, you saw in size Gangnam Style video that it was, you know, lots of high class, it looked very high class, it is. Gangnam is high class, so if you don't want to spend a ton of money, don't go to Gangnam. Um, go to Hongdae or Itaewon. Um, if you saw my blog, I'm not the biggest fan of Itaewon. Um, it is, it is definitely full of foreigners, which is not something that I was looking for. Um, I was looking for a place that is mostly Korean. I did actually get the pleasure of going to an all Korean club. I can't tell you where it is because I don't know where it is. Uh, <laughs> um, I was taken there by a friend, uh, a really good guy friend. So, yeah, I was I was really happy. He he did something special as an apology. Thank you. And um yeah, so it was it was really it was really interesting. I, I liked it so much better actually than um a lot of the uh more popular um clubs that a lot of the younger people go to, like myself. Ah <laughs> But yeah, there's that and then um clubs in Hongdae are normally the better price clubs. And I really like the clubs in Hongdae. My favorite club uh, is in Hongdae. It is called Mama Gorilla. And that club is something magical, something special. And there's lots of great people who are there. I've met so many fabulous people who are in that club. And best part, Manwan. Yes, I said it, Manwan. Ten dollars just to get in. And actually, you don't get into one club. You get into three clubs. So you should probably do that if you're in Korea. Uh, and I know there's other clubs that do that as well, maybe uh, MB, MB2, uh, Mass or something. I, actually, I don't know what the other ones are because they're all hip hop clubs and I don't really go to hip hop clubs. I'm an EDM girl. I like EDM. Sorry. Um, so yes, there's that. There's that. <laughs> 
Itaewon, Itaewon clubs, uh, actually, they have a lot of really fun clubs. Uh, there's a club called Club Naked, uh, Helios. Um, there's a transgender club. It's up to you. Um, and um, there's other things, too. And so Korea is full of such great places and magical things, and it's just, just blows your mind. It just blows your mind out the waters. And my phone just shut off, but I will try to lift and adjust my camera for now. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, oh, what was I saying? Oh my gosh. Uh, but Korea is great. So I'm really hoping that all of you who want to go there really get a chance to go. If, um, I, let me say, let me say positively, when I get the job in Korea, I will do my best to help as many people as I can get to Korea. Um, that is my goal. I want people to, um, you know, as I said, succeed in life, have great life experiences, and, you know, you only live once. So, no, and I'm not saying YOLO. No, 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 that's not what I mean. Not that kind of YOLO because you will take that the wrong way. But you only live once, so you should try your best to fulfill your, you know, um, your wildest dreams, you know, um, I want people's dreams to come true, and if I can help make that happen, that would make me a happier person, if I can somehow help you with anything, like if you want to teach English, you need help, you want to know where you can go get a teaching certification, anything like that, please ask me, I am a part of so many Korean communities, and um, different groups about certifications and blogs and I don't even know. I, I'm a part of a lot. I do a lot of research um, on Korean stuff and I'm teaching now. And I did finish my teaching certification. Woo! Go me! Okay, sorry about this. If you have headphones on, I apologize. But yes, I love Korea and I love you guys. Korea! Sarangan! People! Sarangan! Uh, what else? <laughs> Life! Starting here! <laughs> so, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I really hope to see you all again soon. So please, keep watching. And don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Peace out. Love you. Annyeong!